So we add the fish, snail. To wait until it's ready. Let me try biting the snail. It has a lot of salt. Have they? I've, I've washed it. No, like it, it, it feels like it's a bit no, edible. It's, it's not edible yet. Mm. I washed it personally. So it's raw. It's raw. I washed it with lime. Then and I'm, hello. I'm an animal. If I, <laughs> if I can like it. <laughs> Hi guys, I hope everybody is fine. So today we are going to make Nigerian snails together. Because you all don't believe that I eat snails in Nigeria. So let's do this. I make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. I love you guys. Anywho, what do you guys think about my new hairstyle? Do you guys like it or should I? And I'm gaining some weight. Can you guys tell? Can you tell? I think the Oga is doing a good job so far. <laughs> anyway, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. That's how the snails look like when you get them out from the deep freezer. Because um, we have to keep them and make sure that they, they last. <laughs> And they definitely don't have the shells because when you get them from the market, the women have already uh, removed the shells and made sure that you can just cook them and they are ready. I'm telling you guys, snails are just so sweet. And you guys might not know. But anywho, so we have to make sure that they are not as hard as we got them out. So we put some water in. Them. You know, in Kenya, if it's fish, it's fish. We, we don't mix fish, meat, then people mix them. Yeah, imagine. Yeah, I see meat, fish. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the men, they love to have a lot of protein in their food. Okay. So. We, we don't even mix beans and eggs like you guys. Like, it's, a, it's something that is unheard of. So, we add fish, snail. These are smoked fish. Okay. But this type is best for steel. But I'm making vegetables, so I'm going to go for it. Another one. Yeah, we can't wait, guys. Yes. It's this different is, this from is smoked. It's different from the one I showed you. The one I showed you the other time is smoked. Okay. This is smoked. But there are two different types of fish. Which one is Titus or Titus? The first one I showed you was Titus. Okay. I even think this is Titus too. It's yeah. different, but it's the same fish with this one, right? No, this is another fish. Okay. This is my line cake. Huh? <laughs> to wait until it's ready. Let me try biting the snail. Has it been made? I feel like it's been made or something. It has a lot of salt. Have they? I've, I've washed it. No, like it, it, it feels like it's a bit no, edible. It's, it's not edible yet. Mm. I washed it personally. So it's so. raw? It's raw. I washed it with lime. Then and I'm, hello. I'm, I'm an animal. If I, can, <laughs> if I can like it. <laughs> We forgot to tell them that they're supposed to boil the snail. Yes. So that's it. I'm boiling the snail for the vegetable. That's our chef right there, <laughs> the beautiful Rebecca. <laughs> Look how you shy. <laughs> As in our channel, we are normally very real. We don't prepare and show people over. Do you know we actually don't have this in Kenya? You don't have some oil? Yeah. We just use normal oil like this. Is this oil too? Yes. The orange one. You use wow. them all together? No, it's the same one. Okay. It's the same oil. So if you're cooking with this, you use both this and this? No, it's the same. When you no, like it. this and this. No, no, no. It depends on what you're cooking. Okay. This is palm oil, guys. Red palm oil. I only saw it for the first time in Nigeria. And this is normal oil that we use. In Kenya, as we use, I think sunflower oil, sunflower or corn, I'm not sure. So, our snails are boiling, as you can see. We are, how long are we supposed to boil it for? Until it becomes tender and soft. Okay, so I can't say for how long because if you make the if the heat is low, mm. it won't boil faster, but the heat is medium, so I hope it cooks to. My satisfaction soon okay. enough. I also like very soft ones. 
right here beautiful rebecca was just making sure that the bones are not there in the fish so that when you're eating it's just smooth and you don't have any bone hurting you okay yeah this is the snails with fish right the snail has been boiled already these are our spices not really spices ingredients i can just be watching the same all things you, you said that what's the name of this? Melon. A goosey. A melon. Look at it. So you heat the red oil together with the onions until they turn golden brown you can go for whatever color you want if you want to burn the old food and make it black that is yours as we went for golden brown and then rebecca also added the melon in this mixture she told me it's called a goosey in the mixture and then you stir it you just stir a little bit be very careful because it was very very hot as you guys can see it was hot and rebecca was being very careful but anywho, the other side we were boiling the fish remember i told you we are going to mix fish and snails together with vegetables do you get it yeah so she also added pepe pepe blended pepe guys pepe is pili pili pepe is paper as we call it paper work in kenya you blend it together with onions and nyanya and um pili pili did i just speak in swahili guy and then that spices you can use ruiko you can use magi stir it very well and make sure that everything has mixed together properly guys don't forget stir it very very well and make sure that everything has mixed together properly so that everything can taste great you placed everything yes mixed the snails very well to your satisfaction you go in with the vegetables you can as well as use spinach i'm thinking spinach will go in very 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 well just that i think you'll have to use a lot because spinach always shrinks once it's done but anyway you have to go in with your vegetables and then kamakawa either just mix everything up and ensure that everything is mixed together very well so that the soup can slap because it's the snail soup It's already looking so delicious. Ah, if I add mine. This one is even rush. But it's still okay. Uh, yeah. The soup. the soup is still looking nice. And I can't wait. Me too. I'll be cooking for you guys soon enough. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I just need to yeah, start practicing. To Thank you. It's not hard. I can't wait to try this at home. Like cook it for them at home. That might fail me is my salt. I eat a lot of salt. So if it were me, I would have added extra salt. It's crazy. I've really been trying to like do it with the salt. Yes? I swear. I swear. You are a mother, a wife, a chef, a superwoman. Me, I'll still be driving myself. <laughs> that is made from what? It's made from cassava. Okay. No. You know cassava. <laughs> I know cassava. You know cassava. Yeah. What do you make with cassava? I don't know. We, I don't know. I don't. We, we just. I don't know if. I don't know what to say. I think we just eat it. See, Rebecca is eating it raw. <laughs> yes, now. So we're going to drink this. And you're so. In, you're really enjoying it. Ugu vegetable soup. Maybe it's ugu. Ugu vegetable food soup. Mm. Okay. Ugu vegetable. By the time we taste it. Mm. That's our chef. Mm. <laughs> you can't die. I even made it like very fast. Very fast, by the way. Fast. If you took your time, ah. I'm ish, you ish, ish. <laughs> it's the way you're eating the garden for me. Telling <laughs> 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 you about Ugandi also is made like that. Mm. Yeah, it's also just more. Yes. 
So guys, let's wait until it's done. Snail. The snail. I say snail excites me and Kenyans can't just believe it. Our snail is ready, guys. With fish by the side. You know, if Kenyans were supposed to be, let's say, eating snails, we wouldn't mix it with fish like that. We just say snails. Period. <laughs> That's it for our snails, guys. Make sure to give the video a big thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. And yeah, next time we're going to cook something else and show you guys. Good night. Bye bye. bye.